Hi everyone, today we will be studying about Leishman staining procedure and also we will be making a smear and then only we will be staining that. So, uh, whenever we say about Leishman stain, usually we do that uh, for the morphology to see the morphology of the blood cells like WBCs, RBCs, platelets, leukocytes, all those things. So, this uh, Leishman stain is basically a Romanovsky stain. Romanovsky stain is nothing but just the combination of a basic dye and an acid dye. So, what happens here is the acid dye stains the cytoplasm of the cell whereas the basic dye stains the nucleus of the cell. So, that is the basic principle behind this. So, in this one we are having this eosin and the methylene blue uh, stains. So, we mix these two stains in this one methylene blue is the basic dye and whereas the eosin is an acid dye so uh, in the beginning i have shown you uh, this eosin stains what and whether this methylene blue stains what so all those things you can take a snapshot from there and you can study from that and also here we are going to make a smear so whenever we make a smear we should have a grease free clean slide frosted one Okay, so we have to take approximately 5 microliter of blood, a drop of blood, we have to take, we have to make a smear. So I put a drop of blood over the slide. So this Leishma training procedure is so easy nowadays, uh, we are getting these things uh, ready made previous time we used to make it we, we had to mix all those methylene blue and eosin all those things we had to mix nowadays uh, we get it prepared so always we have to make sure that we are staining a smear which has been air fixed sorry air dried we have to keep this for uh, air dry and this one I have taken this slide from downstairs we should never do that so whenever we do staining we have to make sure that uh, the stain is mug free so whenever we do a staining we have to uh, filter it so here I have used Watman number one filter paper so we have to make it a funnel like structure just to stain it sorry just to filter it so whenever we do SMEO we have to make sure that we are filtering the stain so why are we doing this peripheral smear is because uh, whenever there is a high nowadays everything is automated we have the helps of uh, machine but even then when the platelet count goes less than 1 lakh we will have to confirm it by seeing it over this smear we have to count it manually so for doing a manual platelet count and also a DC whenever the total leukocyte count goes high whenever see a high monocyte count whenever we see a high basophils all those things in that cases we will have to make a smear and we have to confirm that the machine reading is correct before we release the report so uh, the smear which we have made is dried so always we have to keep the smear which we have made on a plain surface on a plain surface this is simply because otherwise when we add the stain it may f uh, goes out of this smear so approximately eight drops approximately eight drops of stain we have to add but if we can cover the smear with the stain that's perfect so after adding the leishman stain what we have to do is we have to wait for two minutes so the actual procedure is we have to add the leishman stain wait for two minutes add buffer 
okay the buffer which we use here is of uh, is having a pH of 6.8 uh, slightly acidic okay so that is what uh, we have to wait for two minutes okay, two minutes is over now we can add the buffer actually uh, how much amount of buffer it's actually double the amount of this chain to a double the amount of stain if suppose if you have add 8 drops of stain then we will have to add 16 drops of buffer approximately and here uh, it's flood flowing out it should not happen so after adding the buffer how many minutes we have to wait uh, here I am putting 10 minutes in timer usually there are variant like 10 tall some in some lab uses 12 minutes some lab uses 8 minutes or it varies so here I am using 10 minutes I wait for 10 minutes so 10 minutes are over so now what we have to do we have to uh, wash the smear so always washing it should be a gentle tap water it should be a gentle tap water otherwise it will wash out so it should not wash out just clean the back side and always why are we telling so because we are using unfixed smear why are we using unfixed smear is because this leishman contains a uh, fixative so we here once when we have stain once when we look into this uh, microscope